Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, we'll just service the ute in this one. I'm going to do a service on my ute. It's been up Cape York, so it's due. We do it every 5,000. We're pulling big weights, so the recommended 10, we do it every 5. And yeah, I'll run you through this. Hope you enjoy this one. Bash plate under here. Take these, I think it's about four or six screws out. Right, pull them out, give them, give them a wash. Now yeah, that oil filter up here, so I'll change him. I've got to put something here, put something here so we don't get a dirty ground and they get angry at us. Do the oil and that engine's hot. You got to end oil while the engine's hot. Engine's hot now, so we'll drain the oil and we'll do that. Sort of here with the dig, sticking up in the hole. Good. Come on, very nice. Opening up, which it is. As we do it every 5,000, the oil filter is pretty easy to get off, but they're not all going to be this easy to get off. So you need one of these. Sometimes it can be a real pain to get off. Catch the oil so the caravan park doesn't get angry at me. Always put a bit of clean oil on the seal so the seal. Goes on nice and happy. Right. New filter. That's that done. So the oil, I do the oil filter first. Then the oil filter is out of the way, done. Then drain the oil while the engine's hot. Oil's thinner when it's hot. So we'll grab the socket and do that now. I'm sure every Toyota I've ever owned have all been 14mm sump plug socket. So I think they're all pretty same, which is smart engineering. Alright, now we get this ready. This is another messy part. There we go. Drain that guy. Alright, let that drain for. 15 20 minutes, make sure we get it all out. We'll move the bucket as it empties because it's going to come closer. I just buy a cheap $1 bucket at Bunnings and then you just throw the bucket in the bin. Uh, now we can let that go. Oh, and he's lonesome now. And we've caught that last bit. Oh. Oil's done running, it's just a few drips coming off the cross member, but the oil's finished. Put the plug back in. Nip it up. And she's ready for new oil. Right. Done. More for some oil in it. Cabin filter and the diesel fuel filter. Can't find one anywhere. Uh, anyway, there's so many full drives up here. They bought every shop out and we can't buy any it. So we'll do them, accept that, and we'll get them at Darwin when we get there. Borrow Cullen's blade blade, blade, blade box because I can't reach up here without it. Two bolts, take this cover off, put the oil in, and it needs a clean. Two clips here, you just pop it straight up, and off she comes. Two. One thing I learned about K York, you'll have red everywhere, probably forever once you've been there. Air filter, pop this off. It is a little bit dirty, but close. That's it from Cape, and that's with we have one of those red socks on there. And that's still got a little bit, but not too bad, really. I imagine if we didn't have one of those red socks, it would be completely red. So we'll throw that in the bin, put another one on. Brand new. Make sure you take the plastic off it before you put it in there. The fuel filter is in here normally. You just unscrew that. Diesel filter pops out. 
Pop your new dose of filter in, screw it back up, and this is a primer. Pump that. It'll pre prime your line so you're ready to go. You can't run a diesel out of diesel. And then in here, pop those two pins out, pop the grub box out. And in here, there's this guy here. Pop that out. Pop him out. We don't have a new one, so I'll just show you. It's pretty good anyway. Pull him back in. And that, that's your cabin filter. Clean your air for your aircon. Let's do that. Yeah. Pop the back back in and we're done. So we'll do that when we get one. Doesn't need one anyway. We haven't done them. Four and a half hours ago. So they're pretty new. It's mainly our air filter and diesel and oil filter that we want to do. Which is here. I'll pop this in there with a pen right. I mean, it's five litres because I already had two and a half left from the last service. And when the pen right comes with a cool little. So you don't need a funnel, you just get easy with it in the hole. And pour this whole bottle in. This is five litres. Pour this whole five litres in, I've got another two and a half, holds seven and a half litres, so just pour seven and a half litres in and that's it. You gotta remember to start it so you get the oil, start it so you get the oil up into your oil filter. Alright, pop the cap back on. Start it up for I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds. Let the oil get into the oil filter. Seven and a half litres, perfect on that line. That's it. Get rid of all the red dust. Get rid of all the red dust and take you off. That's before. Just spent I don't know, an hour cleaning in here, and it's not too bad. Pretty much all back to the colours it's meant to be. All done. All clean. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. It's all clean, all done now, all beautiful. Ready to go again. Hope you enjoyed that. See us. Have a baby. Well, we missed it. Shay's cuckling her so hard. <laughs> Anyway, I picked the hose up and I went, get my face. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> you got what, four. That's what I did, but it was an accident when I did it the first time. <laughs> Shades over there. He's in herself wild. Anyway. Get dirty, wash the car anyway. <laughs>